Hey fellow tennis nerds, welcome to another classic review, this time of the Bobolot Soft Drive 1st Edition. One of my favorite classic rackets and a racket I'm still using today. It was made in the mid-90s, I think 94 or 95, uh, along with the 1st Edition of the Pure Drive. They share the same mold and similar specs, but the Soft Drive is a much lower weight racket, easier to swing. So you really need to customize it to make it playable for a higher level of tennis. But when you do, you really feel a good connection to the ball. It's much more comfortable than the Pure Drives of today. Also a little bit more comfortable than the Pure Drive 1st Edition. I found my rackets used online and uh, they were already customized by a Bablat customizer, a professional customizer. So they have silicone in the handle, they have lead tape under the grommets. And my specs are 335 grams. 32 centimeter balance and a 323 swing weight. This obviously depends a bit on what strings I put in them. I'm trying to look for the perfect string. For these rackets, I'm really liking Bubblelot RPM Power. As you might have known if you've seen my recent review, I also like String Project Magic and I enjoy also Miami Magic Twist. So these are my three favorite strings in this racket right now. We'll see kind of what I can settle for. If you look at the specs of the soft drive in its stock form, it's a 100 square inch head size racket, standard 27 inch, inch length, um, unstrung weight 270 grams, that's why it really needs some weight to boost its uh, stability and it has an unstrung balance of 34 centimeters which means it's a lot more weight in the head so you don't need to add so much lead tape as you might imagine but you definitely need to make it more head light also a bit of more static weight will help create a higher swing weight more stability and more better playability especially for a bit stronger players stiffness is really low for a pure drive style racket 65 unstrung so you take three points down approx of the RA rating it goes down to 62 with strings beam width is 22 to 26 millimeter the same mold as the pure drive first edition the composition is the difference here uh, the pure drive is all graphite this one has 20 percent fiberglass as well which really softens the feel not sure if it helps um, so much with with the durability i've heard that fiberglass frames break a little bit easier but the feeling is definitely nicer and the string pattern is 1619 and the string pattern if you look at it is quite evenly spaced today you see a lot of progressive string patterns where it's tighter in the middle to have a bit of a better control when you hit in the middle and a bit wider out to the sides to give you a bit more forgiveness and depth if you hit outside the sweet spot which you do from time to time of course i really like the soft drive from all areas of the court it's not a typical racket that i gravitate towards i usually like player frames and i can play this kind of alongside a 93 square inch prince diablo tour mid for example i do like them both for different reasons but this one is probably what i play my best tennis with it's not the perfect racket for everyone i just really like it it's very forgiving and easy to use and it's still very soft on the arm and i can have a poly at a pretty high tension and still have uh, no arm issues whatsoever which i really like so a softer feel kind of pure drive playability a bit more control than a pure drive and uh, plenty of spin thanks to the open string pattern sometimes the launch can be a little bit high that's one of my downsides with this frame so i really need to make sure that i always play with a decent amount of spin and to be able to control the ball properly but generally i really like this string pattern i think it is uh, giving the ball some extra rotation but it's still pretty controlled uh, also on flatter shots but it's that's something i would keep in mind this is not a weapon as much as the pure drive on a serve uh, it creates a pretty decent serve but it's not my favorite serving stick and that's been my issue to trying to find where i can uh, utilize my serve in a good way with this racket because from any anywhere else on the court i really like it a lot uh, but I, that's something I can work with. I just felt like I had to make up my mind what kind of racket to use when I play more matches and have a racket that's really a stable choice. And uh, this is gonna be it for now. And then we'll see what happens. I've been playing a lot of frames that I've enjoyed over the last few months. Everything from the from the new speed to uh, the Phantom 100X. So there's a, been a lot of nice rackets, uh, more rackets to test, of course. And, uh, but this one just feels uh, right at home for me. I've been using it kind of back and forth for the last 
two years ever since I found one really cheap used and uh, started fiddling with it and really uh, grew to like it a lot and felt really connected to it then I used it at a higher spec now this one that's customized by Babolat feels much easier to use easier to swing so I think this spec is better than the one I used previously which was heavier with a higher swing weight so the soft drive it's an old racket it's been around a long time Carlos Moya used this with plenty of lead tape in a really crazy spec you can find out the Carlos Moya racket specs on tennisner.net as usual and Nadal also used it when he was around 14 years uh, for a few years until he switched to the pure drive to get a bit more power and then of course the Aero Pro, Pro Drive came and that was his choice from then on but the soft drive should have a place in racket history I really think it's a great racket it does most things well it's definitely not for everyone but I really uh, fell in love with this racket and I'm gonna keep using it we'll see if it's if it's going to be my main choice for a long time but for now it's just perfect and I have three matched uh, rackets of the soft drive and I've really been enjoying them a lot what racket should you play with you might have a few questions ideas uh, you might be completely lost please check out our racket consultation service in the tennis nerd shop it's only 20 euros and you'll get a detailed PDF with suggestions on strings and rackets and things you might consider with your current playing style and I think it could help a lot of players and um, I'm really happy about the response so far for the players I've worked with so please check it out if you don't know what racket and strings you should play with and um, also more content for you tennis nerds and tennis enthusiasts on patreon.com slash tennis nerd there's a patreon page you subscribe it's two bucks a month and you get unique articles twice a week or even more frequent i would also put some more video content there to really make it worth your while to subscribe and support tennis nerd also as always follow us on instagram twitter facebook as well as tennisnerd.net for daily updates have a nice day everyone, stay safe and don't forget to play some tennis.